Always, Mary. Always. Being recorded. Okay. All right, welcome everyone. It is time to begin our clinical yoga. Everyone here has done yoga before, even though you have this is your first time here, so welcome back. Um, so just remember to listen to your body, do what you can do today. Okay. <clears throat> Understanding joints may feel different, weather is changing, this may be a reason. Learning not to be frustrated about it. Just learning to accept and trust that the next step, the next choice you make, is always a step towards the best version of yourself. And every day we have that chance. Every day we wake up and the sun rises over our bones that we have another chance. Making sure you have all the equipment you need, props. I like to have straps, locks. Welcome everyone online. And we're going to find ourselves in a comfortable seated position. You're welcome to be um, propped up high if you are in easy pose or loaded pose or half lotus even. And just allow the knees to drop down below the hips. Allow a gentle extension of the belly, a lift through the heart, shoulders back. Allow the hands to relax onto the thighs. Begin to listen to the breath. Working on our pranayama. Just notice as you gently close the eyes, the position of your pelvis gently moves the pelvis forward and back. And then find that neutral spot where you get a gentle curve of your lower back. Feel the lift up to each vertebra towards the skull. Focus on your inhale, cool, fresh air coming in, the lifting of the chest, the extension of the belly, exhaling warm, humid air out the nose, dropping the chest, gently pressing the belly back, allowing palms to relax with each exhale. Noticing the arms feeling a little bit more heavily with each exhale. Allow the breath to flow evenly in and out the nose. Begin to direct the line inward. If bothers you any thoughts that may try to come into your mind. Without judging, Notice where you may be feeling the tension. You can take that exhale, relax that area. Keep the neck 
the shoulders, along the back, along the spine. Focusing always on the breath. It is primary when it focuses. It should never be held. If it is, allow yourself to relax and rest. Deep breath comes back. Effortlessly breathing through every transition, every pose. We begin to lift the heart. Maybe setting an intention for yourself or someone else. <coughs> or something in general for the world, for your community. Inhale, arms come up, lift up that intention that you wish to set up. <coughs> Accept where it goes, trust. Inhale, lift up the arms, reaching up, extending, opening up, arms open wide, and press back, opening up the heart. Allow it to be open a bit. Inhale, come forward, reach forward, and allow the legs to switch if you're in your knees. Inhale, lifting the spine tall. Allow the head to gently rock towards the chest. Slowly rotating to the shoulder. Inhale, to exhale, chin to the chest. Inhale, to the other shoulder. Remembering there should never be pain in the practice. Crunching, popping his body. Pain is the way his body communicates to you. Continue gently to sway the head, allowing yourself moments where you can stretch a little longer if you feel tension more. On your next exhale, bring chin to the chest. Lift it up gently, arms come up, reach up. Exhale, twist to the right, bringing left hand down in front, right hand behind. And see if you can find a seat or twist here. Your sit bones breathing into the ear. Inhale, unwind, arms up, realign the spine, exhale to the other side. Deep breath in and down. Breathing in and out the nose if you can. Inhale, lift. Reach, heart lifts, exhale, palms together, elbows together, begin your wrist rotation. All the way around. Time to reach every corner of the room. Lift your hand. Now 
as it grows. Inhale, reach up the elbows a little bit higher. Feel the work in the shoulders. Exhale, extend through the wrists, arms come forward, shoulders away from the ears. Inhale, lift, reach and up. Exhale, hands come down behind you, lifting the heart. Breathe. <laughs> Inhale, hands come forward, walking forward, gently stretch your lower back. Only come as far as is comfortable. Press the tailbone down towards the floor. Inhale, slowly walk your hands back. We offer your prop, extend the feet forward. Then just relax your legs. Up the eyes. Breathe. Allow the hips to relax, the knees to relax, the ankles to relax. And then lift the heart. Extend through the heels, point, flex. Notice even the lifting through the torso, the legs working, and rotate all the way around. Nice deep breath in and out. Rotate the other way. Listening to the body, listening to all the joints, accepting how one side can be different than the other. And relax, shake those toes out again. Lifting up the staff pose. Finding sit bones comfortably in your mat, on the floor, wherever you are, shoulders down, and lift the top of the head up. Feel the energy, the engagement of the torso. Notice your breath, press through the heels. Points, flex, bring those toes towards you. Exhale, jab and forward. And inhale, lift. Notice how it felt. Now bend both knees towards your torso. Just anything you need to. So that your belly lands on the top. See if you can straighten up the back. So fairly good posture here. Coming forward. Hold on to your thighs and just feel that connection with your abdomen. As if you're on your back and you're squeezing those thighs towards you and can release. <laughs> the same idea. Yeah, this time we're going to slowly, by not releasing your thighs, we're just going to bring the feet down away from you. And you come only as far forward as your hamstrings allow in your lower back. Take your time as you come forward. It's a totally different method. I think I've done it once before with you in the past few months. And this is where you find your edge. This is it. Uh, your knees may be way up high. It's all right. And the point is to not overstretch your legs, the hamstring or the lower back, and just accept where you are. Use your breath to guide you, maybe deeper to relax the muscles in order to just gradually begin to open them up, to stretch, breathe. Slowly, you want to begin to lift up, coming out of this stretch, reaching up. Notice how this feels. Round your edge physically, not mentally. 
lift up. And then one leg and your right leg. Allow it to sway side to side. The top of the hip feel free. Dropping it down, bringing it in, extending that left leg, keeping it top to the knees, and lift up heart in alignment with your extended knees. You're welcome to use the strap if you'd like to place it around that left foot. We're going to come down towards the extended leg. Breathe. And again, think of bringing the belly towards the thigh. Not so much the heart or the shoulders, but like that first, that, that initial staff pose with the bend, forward fold. Thinking about bringing that belly closely to the thigh, you'll find a deeper stretch here. Breathe. Each exhale, see about releasing tension where you feel it most, maybe the back of the leg, maybe right above the knee, maybe it's your lower back, maybe it's the right side of your back versus the left. Inhale slowly, begin to lift up, reach up. Unwind the torso and get ready for the other side. We're going to extend your right leg now and bring the left leg in. You both sit bones gently on the floor, keeping both sit bones there, twisting hard towards the extended knee. And again, using a strap if you like, exhaling forward. Again, think about bringing the belly, the pelvis tilting slightly forward. Deep breath in and slowly begin to lift up, reaching up the top of the head, shoulders up, and then unwind gently, twist to the other side. Coming back, it's going to come into bound angle. You're welcome to use a prop for bound angle. You're going to bring both knees, bend both feet together, and allow the outer edges of your foot. So really press together. You might even open the arches apart by the book. And then sitting up tall, shoulders back. You're going to exhale forward. Again, only as far as it's comfortable for you. You often to use a block even. And just allow yourself to stay in one spot. Really easy. For anyone who's very tight, you're welcome to sit on a block. So it helps to bring the knees down a little bit lower. Think about extending through every vertebra. And then maybe on your exhale, dropping a little bit lower. Breathe. Inhale, slowly lift, reach up, shoulders up and back. And then nice long spine. Bring those feet 
heart and gently bring to your wife. With your inner thighs now, a little bit of outer thigh stretching. Your of the pitch pose coming up. Deep breath in, extend both feet forward. I'm going to bend the right knee. For those who wish, you're welcome to bend the left knee underneath the right leg, like so. Again, you don't have to. This just adds an extra bit of stretch through this quadricep. If the knee is too tight, keep it extended. We're generally just trying to stretch out through the outer hip area. Okay, so whatever it is that you wish to do, extending the leg or not, lifting up, feel both sit bones on the floor. Okay, make sure both of them stay there. So we're going to slowly bring that right leg over the left. Make adjustments as you need to. Again, notice both sit bones on the floor. But right now, the right arm is back, left arm lifts. Breathe. Now, sometimes it's real helpful to bring that right arm close into the body, kind of allowing that torso to lift a little higher, stay up tall. We're going to exhale and bring that left arm across the right thigh and maybe help to press it over. Okay. You're welcome to just keep the elbow bent. You're welcome to extend. You're welcome to even bring that arm around to grab onto your right thigh. Excuse me, that's the left thigh. We're in knots here. We're going to find this later. And then slowly begin to lift the heart and twist the torso towards the right. Breathe. Really pressing in towards to that right leg. Feel the stretch in the right hip. Notice your breath. Maybe a little bit more labored with the twist. If you can lift up taller, opening up the lungs a little bit more. Yeah. Inhale and begin to release. Begin to unwind, counter pose here, twisting to the other side. Hold it here for a breath. Lift the lungs, exhale back to center. Breathe. Begin to unwind out of this. Extending one leg, then the other. Stretching on both out equally. <clears throat> Extending the spine, coming forward, realigning all your joints, up all the bones, lifting up, deep breath in. All right, now we're going to bend that left knee up. You're welcome if you want to bring that right leg underneath it or keep the right leg extended. Any adjustments you need to, but make sure both sit bones are firmly into the floor. Inhale, slowly begin to bring that left leg over the right. Make the adjustments again. Each side can be very different. Each hip, each side of your hip can be very different. So again, it may not want to, and don't force it. No need to force these things. You just do what you need to do. So if your leg needs to stay out, it's fine. All right, this leg probably should be extended. Extend the, the tender right leg. There we go. And then maybe ring. There we go. And that will be your pose for it instead of both of them. All right, deep breath in, lift up tall. This time your right arm comes up, the left arm is behind you. Exhale and Puts gently, bringing the right arm over the left thigh. And again, each side can be very different. So make the adjustments as you need to as you gently twist. Allow the breath to 
flow effortlessly, lifting up the heart, breathing gently, shoulder gently on the same plane, opening up nice and wide. Press into that left thigh a little bit more, trying to get a little bit more stretch in the outer thigh. Inhale, deep breath in, and slowly exhale, unwind, come back to center, counter, switch. Deep breath in, and back to center, shoulders back, begin to unwind, extending legs, breathe, realigning your spine, exhale, forward. Notice if you more easily get into a pose. Inhale, lift up. And come onto our knees. Facing each other, lifting up nice and tall. Again, you want to add cushion onto the knees here. I like to have two blocks in front of me. And then you're up to add cushion on the knees if you'd like. I'm going to slowly do side bends this way. So I like to have these in case you want to actually have something to hold on to. So as we bend over, you can use the block to come over. This allows a stretch more through the outer thigh. Inhale, lift up, reach up. Exhale, arms come down, right hand can come down towards your block or to your outer thigh if you prefer. And then exhale, lift the left, come over, reach over, feel the left hip extend. Now press the left shoulder back, breathe. Lift the heart. Good. Exhale, come back, realign, and then over to the other side. Breathe. Press that shoulder back, lift the heart. Inhale, fall, reach up. Exhale, hands come down behind you. Fingertips down. Shoulders back, elbows as far back as you're comfortable. And we're going to lift the heart. This may be enough for your back. You want to bring the knees just a little bit wider apart, hip width maybe. And then lift up a little bit higher. Now try and keep your hips stable. Don't let the hips come forward. Keep them stable. So as you bend, you're really just working your lower back, your glutes are engaged, the thighs are engaged, and lift up the heart higher. Breathe. Work the core. Inhale, the center, take it up. I'm going to do it one more time. This is a modified camel. All right, we're doing it very gently right now. We can do it at another point, a little deeper. You're going to come up, shoulders back. Maybe I'll try a trick with this. Bring that block and place it between the thighs. This helps to keep the hips in alignment, keeps the legs from popping too far forward. We have a tendency to want to do this. It's really bad for the back. So squeeze the thighs into the block, engaging the glutes, the quads. All right, you're feeling that engagement. All through here, through the glutes. Glutes are engaged. Your core is gently engaged. Now bring the arms back, elbows back, and then lift up. Keep squeezing the blocks. Notice the stability of the lower body once you have this engagement. Breathe. 
And then we inhale, lift and back. Anyone have any neck issues with that? All right, just in case, modifications or chin to chest and keep it there. So that you're focusing more on the heart and bringing the head back. So that's just a modification for anyone on lunch. Deep breath in and relax, shoulders come forward. You're welcome to remove the block. It's a really good tool to use to be able to get engaged in the Oh, you want to go in the full count. I won't do that. I won't do that. All right, deep breath in. We're going to come forward on our into a table top. <laughs> Making sure that you have anything you need to push in your wrists. Making a fist helps to neutralize the wrist. Opening wide the finger, point your finger parallel to the side of your mat. Allows for a little bit more pressure on the hand, the knuckles, the fingers, than the wrist. Core is strong. Think about the engagement that you just went through with, uh, with a modified camel. Engaging your legs and glutes. And once you do that, your belly gently engages. Relax the legs, the glutes, the belly. Notice the belly drop. All right, that's the feeling we don't want. So the feeling we want, belly engaging, glutes, legs engaged. Pressure on the fingers and knuckles more than the wrists. Remembering your shoulders are right over the wrists. Hips are right over the knees. Breathe, cat cow. Exhale, bring the belly up. Shoulders extend, chin to chest. Inhale to neutral. Exhale, into cow, dropping that belly, but keeping a gentle engagement. Inhale to neutral, exhale to cat. Going at your own pace, use your breath to guide you. Inhale, back to neutral. Side movements here, right shoulder to right hip, pressing the left side out. Back to center, inhaling, and then exhaling the other shoulder to other hip. Breathe back to center. Gently swaying with the breath, side to side. So important, so good for your spine to do these movements of cat cow and then side bends in tabletop. And exhale, gently come forward, finding a plank. Your core is engaging, your legs are engaging, just like having a block between the legs, keep the engagement in the lower body, protecting the lower back, your core is strong. Breathe. Slowly, we're going to just bend the elbows halfway. Elbows are right by the ribs. Lifting up, press back into child pose. Knees can be wider if you wish. Welcome to place prop behind the knees, <clears throat> under the head, under the hips. His hips won't reach heel, his head won't reach the floor. Inhale, slowly come forward to your plank or half plank. Breathe, chaturanga, gently, four limbs, stack pose, lift up, press back, child pose. We're going to flow through, coming back to plank, halfway down, lift up, child pose. Inhale forward, halfway down. Use your breath to guide you. Back. Last time, coming forward, halfway down. Stay there. You can do this, breathe, and all the way down. Deep breath in. 
we're going to do cobra. Now, if you wish, you're welcome to come into space, elbows under shoulders instead of arms under shoulders. So slowly, for cobra, bring hands under shoulders, engage the top of the feet into the mat. Notice your knees pop off the floor. Quads are engaged, glutes are engaged. Deep breath in, lift the heart, then shoulders back. Breathe, elbows are right by the ribs, bent. Squeeze up glutes, work here. Exhale down. Press the knees into the floor. Get ready. We're going to push up and back. Child pose. Curl the toes under. Come forward. Find down dog. If you wish, you can do puppy dog by bringing elbows to the floor, uncurling, and just lifting the hips up to the sky. That's puppy dog. Less pressure on the hands. A little bit less work. Deep breath in, otherwise down dog. Engage your legs, your core first. And then lift the hips up high to the sky. Feel the pressure again more on the fingers and the wrists. As push them if you need it. Walk the dog. Engage your core gently. Lift up the hips and see if you can bring both heels down a little bit closer to the floor. Arms are strong, heart drops, head is relaxed. Gently walk your feet forward. Have blocks ready if you like. Okay, keep the knees bent and slowly we're going to come up into chair. You're welcome to bring a block between the thighs for this. Again, to keep and maintain, remember your engagement of the leg as you lift up. Heart lifts, arms lift, squeeze. Again, there should be no pain in the knees if there is, come straight up in the sandwich. Palms into prayer. Relax the shoulders. Breathe a little deeper. Bring the heart forward. Keeping the knees bent. Exhale. Breathe up and twist to the right. Breathe. Squeeze that block to try and keep the knees in alignment. Good. Back to center, twist to the left. Deep breathing. Back to center. Slowly begin to lift up, reach up. Arms come up, exhale down. Come see me, shake it out. All right, so again, for the time, keep using those blocks as tools to remind you of the engagement of the legs, of alignment of knees and chair posts. It's an excellent tool. All right, we're going to come into lunges. So coming to the top of the mat, be prepared with blocks, uh, pushing for the knee if you'd like. All right, because we'll modify with a knee down instead of a full crescent lunge. <clears throat> so standing up nice and tall, find your Tadasana. Your feet are about hip width apart. <clears throat> Parallel to each other. I, and feel that engagement of the legs. Remember squeezing that block between the thighs. Imagining that glutes are engaged, core gently engaged. And lift up through the spine, feel the heart lift. 
arms come up. We're going to come into prepared posture. Slight bend of the knees as you come forward. Finding your blocks immediately if you like. And lift the heart. Your torso is parallel to the floor. Breathe. Feel the hips lift higher. Feel that stretch in the back of the leg. Again, don't lock the knees. Allow the head to relax. And then bring the head down. If it's all right for you to bring the head below the heart, come into your forward fold. Gently bend knees one at a time. Relax the shoulders, relax the spine. Think of each vertebra decompressing. If you wish to go deeper, coming into ragdoll, bringing hands to opposite elbows and letting them just add weight. Is okay. You're not trying to extend the back of the leg a little bit more. Feel the stretch. Inhale. Bring the hands to your block. Begin to bend the knees as if you're in chair pose. And gently bring the right leg back to your lunge. Use the blocks to help you. You immediately can come onto your right knee. And gently notice your front knee is not in front of the ankle. All right, that's good alignment. If there's any, if there's any sort of issue with the knee, less pressure, bring it back, but never forward. Notice the stance, your train track here. Allow yourself to move and open up the hips. Always prepare the body, allowing it, listening to it, assessing it, even extending the front leg, noticing how the hips feel. Breathe. And then once you wiggled around enough, Allow your pelvis to drop deeper, maybe adjusting the back leg further back, maybe bringing it forward. Again, listening to the body. Breathe. Welcome to stay here or come into a full one. Lifting up, I'm curling that back toe under and lifting the knee, left knee off the floor. All right. Maybe walk the walks a little bit more centric and lift the torso. Find your balance. Maybe coming off the blocks. Maybe. Maybe. So strengthen the leg. Remember that strength and engagement you have. Exhale. Bring that knee down, extend the front leg, extending the toe forward initially. Eyes look forward, spine warrior. Torso slightly inclined forward. <clears throat> now bring the toe back towards you. You can put that in the hands. Same idea, different muscles. Inhale, bend the knee forward. Engage that front leg. Maybe slide the left, the right knee forward a little bit more. We're going to use this, the power move here by bringing that back leg forward. Okay, you can bring it back and forward any way you want so that we can come into a forward fold. So deep breath in, gently bring it forward, forward fold. Inhale, lift up, upwards, exhale, and come back behind you, shoulders back, breathe, open up the heart, inhale, lift up, upwards, exhale, forward, fold, bend the knees, 
prepare more weight onto the left, the right leg, and you bring the left leg back. Immediately bending that knee. Finding the alignment. Now your right knee is over right ankle, or maybe slightly back. Gently move the hip side to side, forward and back. Start opening it up. Breathe. And once you come into that position, start going a little bit deeper. A little bit deeper, see, maybe by bringing that back leg back. High extension. You may get flexor working here. Start recording this muscle running up through the hip flexor. And see if you can relax into it. Breathe. Going to extend the front leg back. Finding your spine, warrior, modified. Eyes look forward, toes point initially. Feel the top of the foot stretch. Breathe. Now bring the toe towards you. Oh. Inhale, come forward, bending that knee. Finding your modified lunge, your bow lunge. Curl the toe under if you wish to come into a full lunge. Otherwise, stay in your bow lunge. <coughs> Feel the strength in the legs here. Maybe walk your box more center into your body. Lifting up all, preparing yourself for your crescent lunge. Find the balance. Breathe. If you want to go full present lunge, you can. Stop lifting the heart. Exhale. And come down. Knee comes down if it's up. And you throw the toe. Bring the rocks forward, love you. Rocks, nice extension to the arm. Feel more pressure on the right foot. Maybe bring that left foot forward slightly. Getting ready. Lifting. Coming forward. Forward. Hold. Inhale. Lift. Reach up. Exhale. Face the mirrors. And open up three feet. Wow. Nice and warm. Arms out, have the blocks ready. We're going to do a twist again. Exhale, press your tailbone up towards the sky. Think about it more that way. Slight bend of your knees, I'll rock those knees. Good. Let's parallel to the floor now. Holding it there. Feel the strength in the legs as the knees are bent, really forcing the muscles to work. And now exhale, arms down towards your block. So placing your left hand on the block and the right hand to the hip. Keep that hip in place. With that hand as you twist the heart over to the right. Really press the right foot into the floor, trying to twist a little bit more. And exhale back to center. 
Place the right hand on the block, left hand on the hip. Keep that hip there, keep the hand to help us. Press the left foot into the floor, and then gently bring the heart over to the left side. Breathe. Take your time. Inhale back to center. Slide bend of those knees again. Don't block them. Arms come out. Hold it here. Inhale up. Arms wide. Bring heels in. Bend elbows. Arms. Press the tailbone slightly down. Thighs press away back. Hold it here, squeeze those shoulder blades. Five pointed star. Morning glory. And exhale, arms come out, bring the feet in and shake it out. Rotate back to me. All right. Now we move those hips, we're gonna come down onto the mat. It's really hard to be like time. Okay, I gotta get you down. <laughs> All right, back on the floor, guys. Sorry, I need another half hour with you. Yeah. Oh, yeah. We'll run into chair yoga. I can stay. Okay. <laughs> we're all free to get flexed. All right. On to our balance. Have a block nearby, maybe a strap. Bring the knees in gently side to side. Press the feet down to the floor. Feet are pressed underneath the knees, directly underneath the knees. Core gently engaging, legs are engaging. Remember that feeling. Having a block between the legs. Actually, let's use that block. Let's place it between the legs. Really engage the legs by squeezing the block. <laughs> Pressing palms down by the hips. Feel the elbows gently press into the floor. Arms are engaging. Belly button presses to the floor. Feel the tailbone lift gently. Engaging glutes. Really engage the glutes and then lift the pelvis up. You almost feel lighter by engaging that body. Before you lift up the hips, breathe. Now lift them up a little bit higher. Keep breathing. Exhale slowly down one vertebrae at a time. We're going to do a couple more of these. Lift up, engage the legs. Really prepare the body as you lift the pelvis up. Hold it here for a breath. Exhale it down. Last time, deep breath in. Engage the belly, glutes, feet press into the floor, and exhale. Lift, reach up. <coughs> You're gonna hold a little bit longer. Extend the right leg out. Oh, we lost block. Exhale down. You can keep the block, left leg up, squeeze, squeeze those glutes, and back. Exhale slowly down, release the block. Bring the knees in, massage that back. Bring the hands in between the legs. Maybe grab the knees, the shins, the ankle. Or for happy baby, you can press your hands into the inner arch. Lift the feet so that they are parallel to the ceiling. Elbows, I'm sorry, the knees come in towards the armpit. Really press those knees down into the armpit, opening wide the legs. They're wider than your shoulders, wider than your body. It's almost like doing a nice wide-legged squat, except you're on your back. Gently, you're welcome to be a happy baby, moving side to side. Oh, 
while we're here, press the tailbone closer to the floor. Feel the work in your lower back and your pelvic floor as you really focus on bringing that tailbone down. And relax, begin to extend both legs out nice wide leg. Breathe. Bring the leg in towards each other. A recline south pose. Whew. Spread those hamstrings. Use a strap if you'd like, if it's difficult enough. And exhale, just the right leg down. Left leg stays up. That's the right half to the floor. Exhale all the way out to the side. Open up here. Inhale, lift. These will be quicker. I don't have as much time to hold. So, and then cross over. Use your arms if you don't have your strap ready. Breathe, gentle twist. Left arm got the two. Inhale, lift up, extend through the heel, up to the side, really stretch it out, and then drop it down, lift up the other leg. Press that left leg, left back to the floor. Really extend that right foot up to the sky. Exhale out over, away from the body, opening up. Try and keep the left half on the floor. Inhale, lift, reach up, and then cross over the body. Gentle twist here. <clears throat> Inhale, slowly begin to lift up, reach up. And extend all the way down, arms up over head, full body extension. Exhale, arms come down by the side for your Shavasana. <clears throat> Allow the feet to be about hip width apart. Allow the hands to face up, open, secure. Feeling with gratitude for this hour you gave yourself, for this day that was given to us. Allow the breath to come back. Flowing evenly, breathing in and out the nose, <clears throat> allowing the breath <clears throat> to come back to its natural rhythm.
the wing of your finger. Wiggle your toe. Allow the head to swing side to side. Bending the knees, allow the knees to sway side to side. When you're ready, allowing the knees and body to roll over, taking a breath before coming up into a comfortable seated position. Inhale, arms come up, knees up, palms to prayer. Exhaling gently, elbows to ribs, thumbs to sternum, chin to chest, last stretch to the cervical spine. Accepting where you are. Starts with finding peace within. Finding yourself in the silence. Understanding who you are. And being okay with it. With each step we take today, may we find that peace. And allow it to be shared with others. By thinking kind thoughts, speaking kind words, and doing kind deeds. Thank you for coming today. Namaste. 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 Thank you, everyone. Have a good day. Yay.